this 1250 in front of me today and I'm just going to do a quick little video on how to resize and rotate designs on this machine. I've already hooped up a piece of white cotton with my stabiliser and I've chosen two threads so I'm just going to thread the machine up and then we'll get started. So I've threaded it and put the hoop on. I'm going to go into this folder and I'm going to flip through to find the design I want to use. I'm going to select the design and down the side here we've got check colour, the tension and adjust. I'm going to click, whoops, Daisy. I'm going to click adjust and then again we've got check colour. Then this one is your thread so you can, if the machine breaks a stitch you can go back and forward to find where it broke the stitch. It's back 10 stitches is the, the average time it takes it to notice it's broken the thread. So we'll come back out of there and then at the bottom we've got layout. So I'm going to go into layout and this box here is the size of our hoop. So I can position this in the hoop wherever I want to by using the arrows. Now if we look at the screen here, at the top here we've got size. So if I click size, we can alter the size of these two boxes down and up by 10%. So I'm going to increase the size to the biggest it will do. And I'm going to move it up to the top of the hoop. And I'm going to send it over this way. Perfect. That's exactly where I want it. Now, just to make sure it's going to fit the hoop, you've got this button here. And this is the tracking out. So it's mapping out on the hoop whereabouts it's going to stitch. So that's, I'm happy with that. I'm going to set it sewing now. First colour done, just going to do a colour change. There we go, so it's finished the embroidery. So now I'm going to shrink it down, so I'm going to go back into size and I'm going to shrink it down as small as it will go and I'm going to send it up 
to the other corner. There we go, and I'm going to stitch that out again. change the thread whoops those it's broken so as the machine broke the thread it's a perfect time for me to show you how to track back to overlap stitching so I'm going to go back and click this button here it's got the needle the plus and the minus so I'm just going to click it and at the top here you've got two rolls of thread plus and minus you can go back or forward a colour and down the bottom we've got a needle with a plus and a minus and this is back or forward a single stitch so I'm going to minus about 10 clicks now I'm just going to start the machine up again done it again it's, doesn't like this thread So we've got so far we've got it's at its largest and its smallest. So I'm gonna reposition it again and stitch it at its original size this time.
I'm going to rotate the design. So I'm going to move it across in the hoop again. And I'm going to click rotate. I'm going to go 10% that way. 10 degrees even that way. Come back out of there and I'm going to send, send it right across here. change the thread So to recap, I've done um, the, the largest, at the smallest, the standard size and the standard size rotated. I hope you've enjoyed watching the video. Um, this was a requested video, so I hope the lady that I've done this for has found this helpful. Um, if you'd like me to do anything specific using any of the embroidery or sewing machines, please leave a comment in the comments below and I will see what I can do for you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.